Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today we're talking about the newest release from Apple, iOS 13.6. What started as iOS 13.5.5 beta one, and then was later changed to iOS 13.6. So in this video, you will learn everything new that is on iOS 13.6, all the new features, changes, battery life, performance, and everything else that you need to know regarding this new update. As I said at the beginning, iOS 13.6 has started as iOS 13.5.5 beta one, and then later on was changed to iOS 13.6, of course, setting a record for iOS updates. Now, I believe this should be the last big update to iOS 13, because we have iOS 14 ahead of us. Now, on your device, iOS 13.6 should come at around four gigabytes. That of course will be different on different devices. So on this update, Apple has fixed quite a lot of bugs, quite a lot of issues. And of course we have a few new features and changes as well. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to talk about the new features. Then we're going to talk about battery life, performance and bug fixes as well. Starting things off with the settings app. When you go to settings and you go to general, go to software update, you know that you have here an option to turn on automatic updates. But now that has been changed with iOS 13.6. If you go to customize automatic updates, then now you will have two different options here. You have the option to automatically enable download iOS updates. So the iOS updates will be downloaded automatically if you enable this and they will be on your device, but won't be installed automatically until you turn on this next button right here. So you will have the option to have the update downloaded, but not installed and then of course choose whenever you want to install the update manually from your device now, of course if you don't want to download and also don't want to update automatically you just go ahead and turn off both of these buttons there are a few changes on the music app as well now with news plus you will be able to use audio so you will have a new section for audio basically you can listen to different articles so you can just tap one of those and you can see you will have the player down here at the top right there you will have a button that says playing if you just go ahead and tap you will be able to pause directly from there so you tap right there to pause and unpause the basically the voice the audio that is playing in the background now if you tap here it will show you the player on the player you can also change the speed of the playing right here so you can go ahead and go to 2x 1x or one and a half and stuff like that you will have quite a lot of options right here on the player which is really really good something else that is new on iOS iOS 13.6 on the news app is that when you go to your followings you can see right here if I go to one of the topics or channels that I'm following on iOS 13.5 if you would tap here this button bar right here would, would just disappear that won't happen with iOS 13.6 and that's really really good that Apple has done that now also if you go to the stories here and you swipe on one of them you will notice that the buttons have also been retouched a bit and you won't see any text beneath them so if you swipe from the left or from the right you won't see any text beneath the buttons right here also, if we go ahead and go to news right here, we'll see that the thumbs up, thumbs down and the arrows now are on a black color, not on the red color. That also has been changed and now it looks much, much better. A very important feature has been added to the health app. You can go to the health app, go to the browse section and then go right here to the different categories and now you will find symptoms. This is new and has been added with iOS 13.6. Now this is really, really important. If you go here, you will see a list of different symptoms that you can track. It is really, really important for you to track these symptoms and of course have like a record of different symptoms that you did have in your past that's of course really like really really important now if you go here you will see like different symptoms that you can have and you go ahead and you tap right there and you will see the data right here now what you can do here is of course learn more about that symptom right here you have like an about section which is of course really important and you can add it of course to your favorites but what's really important is add the data so tap right there add the data and you will find here different options so you have like not present present mild moderate or severe from here you can go ahead and add that of course choose your condition and then you can go ahead and enter the start time of that symptom and of course the end time as well once you have done that you tap add and you will have that 
on the record on the data of your health, which is of course very, very important to keep track of all the different symptoms that you have. A really important feature of iOS 13.6 is the support for digital car keys. It is an amazing feature that Apple has talked about and iOS 13.6 was supposed to add support for digital car keys. That will start with the BMW 5 series. It was supposed to start production on July 1st, probably they have started producing that car already and you will have the ability of course to have the car key on your iPhone, which will be really, really amazing. So with the digital car key support on your iPhone, which will be only on the iPhone XR, XS and the newer iPhones, you will be able, of course, to unlock your, your car, lock it, start the engine by just using your iPhone as the key. You will also be able to remove like keys that you have on your iCloud account on a lost device, for example, and you will also be able to share different keys using iMessage. So you want to send a key to someone that will be able to be done using iMessage, which is of course really, really cool. You can also set like driver specific profiles so you can configure shared keys. You can have full access, give full access to someone or restricted driving. That of course will be really, really amazing. And another really amazing feature is power reserve, which will let you unlock and start your car five hours after your iPhone has died out of battery. That's really, really amazing. Hopefully that won't happen to anyone, but it should be there on your iPhone with iOS 13.6. Again, there's no way I can demonstrate this feature I don't know whether it is present right now on iOS 13.6 or not, but it should be there. And now let's talk about battery life. Now I had this update on my iPhone 7 for quite a few days now and it has performed quite good. Now from the start of iOS 13 from iOS 13.1 up to iOS 13.6 now, I had basically the same battery life on my iPhones. Nothing that great, but not bad at all. The battery life is quite decent even with iOS 13.6. Of course, this is quite late on iOS 13 and you can expect it to be, of course, very stable and have a really good battery life. And iOS 13.6 makes no acceptance. I had like maybe a very, very slight improvement from iOS 13.5.1 on iOS 13.6. But again, battery life decent, not like anything like draining battery or stuff like that. It has been quite stable and a quite decent battery life for me here on the iPhone 7 on iOS 13.6 since beta 2 of iOS 13.6 until now the final release. And now let's talk about performance. Now, when you're talking performance, of course, on the newer devices, you will basically always have a good performance. They have all the RAM memory, all the new chips and all that, and you will get a great performance. Now, when you install an update on an older device like the iPhone 7 that I have here, then you will be able to test the performance more. Of course, I did this on my iPhone 7 and the performance is really, really good. I haven't seen any like stutter, any like glitches or anything. Of course, it's 13.6, so it better be stable. So a very nice, very stable and very smooth performance on iOS 13.6 iOS 13.6 will of course address a few issues and bugs that were present on iOS 13.5.1. One of them is an issue that could cause some apps to become unresponsive while syncing data to the iCloud drive. Another one is an issue that when accessing the control center while having the assistive touch enabled would basically cause stability issues on your iPhone. It will also fix an issue that will prevent the iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE from registering for Wi-Fi calling. Also, it will fix an issue that could cause some data roaming to appear to be disabled on eSIM even though they remained enabled in the background. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. This is iOS 13.6, probably the latest big update to iOS 13 before iOS 14 comes out to the public. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is everything that is due on iOS 13.6, all the new features, changes, and of course, battery life, performance, and all the bug fixes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. I will see you on the next one.